Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folia action. Let's jump in again. We are on a win streak, baby. We are going crazy. It's mental. We did Lazarus recently. Judas we did recently as well, actually. Yeah, let's do Golem. We, I like a bit of Golem. Last time I played as him, I kind of broke the game. So hopefully this time that doesn't happen. Also, someone was saying that I don't... I worry too much about uh, losing effects on, like, smelting stuff. So I'm going to try and not... Uh, not worry about that as much anymore. So, I think first one we want to grind, right? This one we can grind for free. And then here we get Grant's Brimstone at the start of every fourth room. Damn, that's amazing. Okay. That's real good. Um, Then this one we can get rid of here for some health. And it gave us the full amount. Periodically begins sucking in all nearby enemies. Uh, I guess that works. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but we'll take it. But yeah, tell you what, tell you what, every fourth room getting brimstone, that's very, very good. That's very, very good. Now, the sucking in enemies, I don't know if it, okay, it, it does play an animation. I don't know how sort of aggressive that is. It might not be something I want to keep, but I want to keep it around for now because I might want to get enough money to re-roll it. That's kind of the, the, the state on my mind right now. That is what's on my mind right now. Um, as for the question of the day, I'm going to try and come up with one myself today. I'm going to actually not just seal one from the ones that have been left in the description. Um, hmm. What's something that you always wanted to buy but keep putting off? Yeah, we just get Brimstone. That's awesome. Okay, that's a that's a super, super, super good um, effect. Obviously, for every four rooms isn't crazy, but it's pretty darn good. Um, ooh, also we get Luckfoot here. Um, I do want that D6, but I can never remember exactly how to get it. I think it's like this. Okay, that, that definitely complicates things, but we did it. Nice one, nice one, nice one. We did it. Okay, yeah, the glass D6 is super useful. Luckfoot itself is just really good. I'm very happy to have that. Um, we can take any pill we want now, I think. Is that what Luckfoot does? I can never actually remember. I'm pretty sure Luckfoot is any pill we want now. Obviously, bonus luck. A few other things here and there. And yeah, it is luck foot that gives us the better the, the, the better pills, right? I'm fairly sure. It's the one that Kane starts with. I can't actually remember now for some reason. My brain's broken. Okay. These guys are a little bit little bit of a problem just because of the burn they throw at the end. It's a little bit hard to see. But honestly, just look at the shadow and you'll be okay. But yeah, what's something you've always wanted to buy but just haven't? Like, either, like, never get around to or just, like, you, you sort of keep putting off on purpose for me at the moment it's kind of a ps5 like right now that's like something that i really want and then also while it's not specifically mine um my my girlfriend has been wanting a new camera for a really long time and i really want to like help her get one i probably won't pay for it all because they are expensive as all hell um but i really help her get one but that's just something that we've been putting off a lot recently as well because it is just one of those things that they're like if you want a really good one you have to spend bank on them dude can this boss actually fuck off this is ridiculous dude this boss is stupid just die <laughs> Okay, we do get placenta here, which is pretty nice, to be honest. Um, small chance to fire. Okay, I I'll take that. Um, and I'll I'll go and... Oh, I hate it when I do that. Place you right next to the damn doorway. Um, and we'll crush this. Oh, thank God it gave us the full amount there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice one. Good, good. Right, and we can go back to the library over there as well. I almost forgot about that. By the way, you may have noticed that I have a mod on that whenever you beat the floor while you have Curse of the Lost, it removes Curse of the Lost, which is real, real nice. Just a, a nice little quality of life thing that I really enjoy. Right, um... We have The Fiend Folio, and we also have Book of Shadows. I don't really take Book of Shadows very often. Um, I mean, I'll at least take that. 
Now, I'm, I'm going to take Book of Shadows. I don't take Book of Shadows very often at all. Uh, I should also try and look for my secret room here, which I believe to be right here. Good, good. One damage, extra damage if holding another geode. That's really good. So I think I'm going to go and throw away this bad boy. While this one is good, I, I would rather get a soul high out of it and pick up plus one damage for now, I'll be honest. Plus one damage is real nice. Um, and I'm going to go and pop into here real quick and see if there's anything valuable going on in here. And there is. We get the black doll, which I really like. Basically, enemies can be tethered to one another. When I deal damage to one, it deals damage to the other. And we can pop our book to get out. It's nice. Black doll's pretty useful. It's not crazy powerful, but it is decent. Now, if I had more red hearts on the floor, I would definitely consider that, but I don't. Um... Hmm, yeah, I'll probably just go for the regular chest. I don't want to take any more damage here. Oh, shit, they were both reflected. Okay, now I'm definitely going to go and do the thingy. I didn't realize that they were both reflected. Damn, that was stupid. Okay, right. Um, this is a bit risky, but we go one. We go two. Three. Four. We go five. I could use the shortcut, actually. And then we go six. We can try and get seven as well if we're if we're lucky. Okay, back this way. This is our sixth. Damn it. We did get a lot of money out of that, though. I was not expecting that crazy amount of money. Right. Let's quickly hop. Where the hell's our starter room? Is it here? Okay, it's here. We pop through here. Go back to the boss room. Grab that. Check out this. That's pretty good considering the uh, active that we have. And Placenta just healed us up there, rather nice. And we've got a heart there for coming back around. So we should actually, honestly, just uh, go back to the starter room via the shortcut. It's a little bit quicker. Not, not by a lot, but it is a little bit quicker. Right. Get another one of them going. We didn't get an item, but we did get a double soul heart drop. So all in all, we didn't gain too much from that, but we did gain a good amount of money. And I think the voodoo doll thing with this active is a pretty good get, to be honest. And these work in tandem pretty well together. And we still have money for the next floor as well, which I like. I'm going to do this. I know that it's maybe worthless, but you can get a crawl space if you're lucky. Had to try it. Right. Let's get going. Pretty happy with how things are going so far. Just going to go on the regular path for now. Do love myself a golem room. Do love myself a golem room. But yeah, PS5 is kind of one of the things for me at the minute that I'm like so, so about. Like, I, I, I definitely really want it. But there's just, I don't know, there's just not enough really good games to justify it yet. Also, let's not bother smelting anything yet to keep the power for as much time as possible. I'll also try and get some more soul hearts before we do as well. Do you remember we've got this D6, uh, glass D6 that we can utilize here and there. Uh, we'll wait until our active's ready before we go into that curse room. The, uh, the doll there giving us some extra damage against some enemies. Ooh, a golden pill. Now that's interesting. Pins. Pins and needles, balls of steel is lovely, infested is nice, half is whatever. Okay, do you know what? We got our balls of steel out of it. That's all I really care about. In fact, we should probably go and spend some of this newfound HP on smelting some stuff. Like people said, I need to not worry as much about the power loss that you get when smelting stuff. I think I'm, I'm worrying about it far too much. So I'm going to go and smelt my damage up first. And I'll smelt this as well. I'm guessing it'll be like every six rooms rather than every four now. Which I, th I still think is pretty valuable, to be honest. 
Yeah, let's go do some more rooms. We do have um, the ability to get some keys here, so I'll at least grab one of these open. Magic 8 Ball is... Magic 8 Ball is good, but I'm, I'm going to leave that there for now because I feel like we might get more use out of D6-ing that. As well, although the Planetarium chance is nice, I will say. There's just a chance that we might get better via saving that and re-rolling. Also, LSD there was causing some very wacky shenanigans. Okay, we've got a charge. There's going to be a, quite a bit of back and forth going on um, in this run, I think. We're going to be going here and there quite a lot. Hoping for some HP. Didn't get it, sadly. Okay. Secret room. Hmm. There's a few different possibilities for secret room here. And I'd very much like to think that it's below here. Like, directly below. I don't think it is, though. Oh, it is. Awesome. Well, we got a Giga Bomb. Don't pick that up yet. In fact, we don't even need to use a bomb here, which is rather nice. Uh, we can also pick up every fourth tier becomes double damage blood tier. I like that. Giga Bomb. I'm going to leave for now. Oh, that's a very good one to grab. That gives us a Black Heart as well. More HP to utilize. We do have to fight these guys, but considering we're going to be getting um, extra damage out of some of the tiers and we have a damage up as well, it's kind of nice. This is, a, this is one of the sort of more balanced um, Fiend Folio early game bosses, I think. He's, he's definitely got some tricky moves, but overall I find him not too bad. And I think he's, he, he, he uses a lot of space. Like, his usage of, of the room is, is quite nice. Now this guy would have been good to have the Gigabomb for, to be honest. When he rolls his head out, but... Every fourth shot. I like the fact that it's every fourth shot because that means that if we get higher fire rate, it's uh, it's going to be even like even more of those shots going out. And I'm guessing that will become every sixth shot as well once we get um, once we get more. I'll take the Gigabomb now. Uh, let's first utilize one of these to just destroy that, and then same for you as well, my good sir. Sadly, nothing. And yeah, let's just pick up the Gigabomb. Try and use it on the boss if we can. No fire. Okay, so we got Brimstone here. Not the greatest room to get it on. That's going to be the case a lot, I think. And then back again to the other cash room. Not 100% not necessary, but while I've got the health to sustain it, I think going to as many cash rooms as we can get into is going to be good. If we can get flight, it's going to be so good. Because then we uh, don't have to worry about losing any soul hearts. And we gained one back just for entering. And hopefully, as I was say, we'll get some more as well. Grab that. Take that as well. We'll take the big pill. It's a huge tears up. Hell yes. And pop this to get out. Okay, that, that was overall very, very positive. Very happy with that. Um, honestly, if we can smelt on this floor, I think we do. I'm pretty sure we can. Indeed, we can. I know it's going to lessen the power of it a little bit, but we stack them up. I think it's going to be super useful for us. And I'm still sitting on. Um, I'm still sitting on that. I'm not, still not sure if I'll use that. We got our little buddy here. It's kind of nice to have him around. Like I said, this floor especially. A lot of back and forth. Yeah, let's just count. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's every eight now. It's literally half. But that's still useful. I don't think that... It definitely lessens the effectiveness, but I don't think that means we shouldn't have smelted it. Still missing out on our item room and shop right here. We do have our Gigabomb. Honestly, actually, while we're here, while we've got the D6 in our hand and stuff. Like, why not? Why not just demolish that guy? Tears up very nice. Um, when the player drops to one red heart, um, or he heals red hearts and breaks once... Uh, that's not very good for us, but 
I guess I can trade that in for some HP. I don't want Devil Deals here. We've not got the HP to withstand it right now. Um, actually, we could try and re-roll it into something a little bit better. Grant, so luck range and tears are shots people entering a secret room. Bonus is only applicable to holding the trinket. Okay, I'll take that. Seems decent to me. Um, then we head back to the secret room. No, we head back to the boss room, sorry. I am getting confused on where I am right now. I think that's a decent one to grab. I don't want to spend much more money on re-rolling anyways. But we're visiting all the secret rooms at the moment, or at least going to be trying to. So I think getting burner stats from it is going to be good. But it says only works while held, which makes me think that if I smell it, it won't, it won't apply the effects. So it might, be, it might be one that I have to keep held. Pop in here. Ooh, yes. Electric dice is fantastic here. Uh, because it will increase the duration of our um, Book of Shadows, which is really nice. And then here we've got Guillotine, which I'm not particularly fond of. So I'm going to try re-rolling. And I get Soy Milk, which, yeah, works out for me. I like Soy Milk. I get Soy Milk quite a lot. I'm quite fond of Soy Milk. Um, and then actually, let's go back to our secret room here. And then, uh, yeah, I think obviously now we take the uh, shot speed increase. We go to our secret room there and we get a range upgrade. I didn't realise it'd count for secret rooms we'd already entered. Nice to know. We'll get a card here as well. I wonder what that'll be. Hermit is actually kind of useful considering the money that we're currently on. And then I think we just jaunt back and leave this floor. But yeah, timing wise, we're not doing so hot. We're, we're, we're taking our sweet, sweet time. But I think there's no problem with that whatsoever. Right, let's go. Let's go. We've got a first cash room here. We'll go straight in here. We've actually got a teleport card to get out as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, I'll use my bombs here. I got I got a bomb in return for clearing the room out, so I don't mind. Both of those. We'll hermit card out to save a charge. Ooh, ceiling with the stars. And I think, actually, if we go and take a little look... Repentance plus unlocks... Seem to have saved them all this time round, which is really nice. Good to good to see that. Okay, um. Oh, I did not consider this. I forgot that that was a thing we'd be dealing with. That's kind of fun. That is kind of fun. Secret room is. I don't know. It feels like it's likely to be here. There you go. And we get a small stat upgrade. Friends, one soul heart at the start of a floor. That's very, very nice. Balls of steel again. And drowsy. And a ranger. Beautiful. Right, we can bomb into our uh, item room here as well, actually. Didn't even consider that fact. Don't know what that is. It's Ipecac. Holy. <laughs> well, this, this run has... Um, this run has really grown some legs, hasn't it? Like, this has really become something else. These are this, these are the runs. Like, runs like these are the exact reasons why I take soy milk. Because while soy milk on its own ain't that good, the just potential for a really interesting run is too high. And look at this. That's going to get me hurt, isn't it? That's de definitely going to get me hurt on occasion. Right, let's do the boss now. I'm going to pop this. It's a last forever as well, because I have the electric dice, so... It could last double or triple the normal duration. Which is very good with explosive shots, so... Very happy about that. And we get lunch. That's decent enough. Um, and then here we've got... Grants three wisp entering a boss or mini-boss room. Three wisp and starting a challenge room. That's, that's actually pretty decent. Um, do I have the ability to smell it here? I don't, unfortunately. The soul heart when starting a floor. Hmm. See what we get here. We don't have any bombs for this. Oh. Do do Each room has a chance for the Thunder Egg to crack into another rare or fiendish rock. I really like the idea of carrying that around. I don't think right now I need the um I need the, the sturdy rock. Honestly, let's just feed the steady rock into you. 
and get up to max HP here. We'll go. What did we see in our shop? I don't remember what was in our shop. Can't have been anything that exciting. We've got Sackhead in there, I think. And we got just enough to buy it. Sackhead, lovely. Hey, and we got one of the card sacks. Converts all rocks and into pennies. Um, doubles number of bombs. Doubles number of coins. I think we just um, pop that. Then we take this and maybe pop it here. Queen of Diamonds. I know we didn't get a ton out of that there, but we've got Soul Lily. And that's pretty good. Grab all of that. And then we carry this in the hopes that we get a lot more money and then we can double it. Can't believe we've got Daddy Longlegs there as well, that's so good. Spawns two to four curse pennies. Eh. Not all that bothered about messing with curse pennies, I'll be honest. Got three red hearts there, that's it. We also got the fool here. Don't think the fool does much for us. I probably won't carry that around. Okay, nice. Eh, not too hard at all. Keep it going. Pop in here real quick. Bit of a weird room, I guess I'll just leave. I, there might have been something to do in there, but I couldn't see it. We've got a teal champion over here, gotta be careful of him. Again, I'm, being, I'm playing kind of slow here, kind of methodical. I, I'm guessing this will be soy milk. If it's soy milk, I do not want it, but I still will check this out regardless. Yeah, it's soy milk. I don't want it. I'm very, very happy with what I have. I do not want to, to toy with that, especially considering having all the shots split could be very problematic. Wait, am I... Am I not able to hurt myself right now? I have to check this. Oh, that was a bomb rock. That doesn't count. Okay, no, I am. I am. Uh, we also got another trinket here that I didn't recognize there. Um, random rock trinket at the start of your next run when crushed. Okay. Decent. Decent enough. Okay, let's keep her going. Um, what was I doing in here again? Yeah, I want, I want to crush this, don't I? That'll give us some stuff. And then I want to come out here. And I want to take this. I think we're just good to go now. Not going to use my two of diamonds quite yet. I'd, I'd like to get up to like 20 cent first if I can. Only the cat comes too on 18 minutes. That's quite slow. I love the soy milk brimstone. It's so good. Hello. Some interesting stuff in here indeed. I don't think Eye of Greed is all that good for us. I should probably uh, pop the dumpy though. We've also got passively spawns bubbles that deal damage and block shots. Also works when dropped. Um, let's quickly check out our, our black market, actually. Whatever you want to call them. You can smelt this onto me. Thank you, sir. And that way I can pick up the other one in the secret room, which... Honestly doesn't sound super useful. But... I'd like to have it, nonetheless. Okay, let's keep going. 
I'm loving the uh, the doll right now. The fact that we're killing some enemies and it's killing others too. Very, very nice. Let's pop in here. Okay, this is a tough one. The Pact is, of course, fantastic, but Wrath is so good too. The tier deals damage equal to 10% of your number of broken hearts. What? Zero, so it does 0 0.3 damage? I'm going to take it anyways. Uh, it does give us three broken hearts, though. Nah, I'm going to take this. I, Wrath is definitely the more interesting choice, like, by far. But I just don't think it's going to work very well, because we do we, we damage enemies, like, and basically kill them straight away. So I don't think it's going to really get much chance to actually do anything. Oh, I love that. That's so satisfying. Shop, what do you have for me? That is very, very nice. I never duplicated my money, though, you idiot. Ooh, Dead Bird. I'm going to take Dead Bird because it got a buff. In the balance mod, um, we f when you find Dead Bird here, does as it normally does, works as it normally works, but with one str one little change. Now, oopsie, now you can actually um, slow down enemies when Dead Bird is hitting them. Dead Bird will actually apply a slowing effect, meaning it can keep up with enemies better and you can hit them more easily. It's a nice little change. Only a very, very small buff, I, I'd say, but it's good. Might as well take the Chaos Pennies now. Oh, we hit the jackpot. We got uh, all stats up. And then we get damage against bosses. 30% damage increase against bosses is fine by me. Don't know why it's a quality one, I'll be honest. Off this to get out of there. Our shot speed's kind of crazy. <laughs> I knew I was going to hit myself with a brimstone eventually. It was pretty much bound to happen. Oh my god, we got another soul earth. How come that dropped this? Wimpy boy. I don't know why a mushroom dropped that. Like I dropped a soul stone. It's something a bit new to me. I like my little bubble buddy. Oh shit, you're so alive. Hello. Grab that penny real quick. There's a lot of pennies that I've left about the place, but oh well. Planetarium, hell yeah. Goddamn, our shot speed is just absolutely wild. Luna. Luna is very, very good with this rock that we got that gives us bonus uh, stats on secret rooms. Keep Oh, that's not even an enemy. Keep doing that. We get a stat boost. Pretty big fire rate bonus, and we get hugged by both of these guys. This one giving me a soul heart. Nice. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> this shot speed just makes it so wacky. I love it. Caffeine pill's pretty good, because we need speed. Um, Heals two hearts at the start of each floor. Sleeping in a bed can't... Eh, that's not super useful for us. One chance of nurse machine every floor increases angel room chance taking damage makes you drop coins enemies pick up coins can become charmed that's decent probably enough to two of diamonds now i'm gonna wait just in case and by wait I mean i'm gonna forget to use it as well it's exactly what i mean there right let's get out of here whoopsie Um, I might smelt my bubble buddy to me, just before we head off. I see no reason not to. 
I, I want to smelt this thing, but I don't know how it'll work. I'd rather just keep it as is. And then that, I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I don't need it. And you watch, I'll find a bed on the next floor. Oh, dip. We're still firing bubbles out on the regular, so pretty happy with that. Get a second knife piece. Why not? Double soul heart. And we can use this to escape. What's in here? Ooh, mega chest. Hell yeah. Oh, I opened on two? I don't open on one. God damn. I was lucky. And we found our secret room. Wait, what? Does, is, does anyone see the, the issue here? Does anyone see the problem? Um, does anyone see the problem here? I managed to open a secret room on this wall. Oh, wait. Okay. Luna confused the hell out of me. I thought I opened a secret room above the cash room. I was really confused. And then here we've got boost speed in cleared rooms. Ooh, very nice. I'll definitely take that. I love the uh, idea of getting boost speed, boosted speed in cleared rooms. What have I got here? God, these, these charmed enemies are annoying the ever-living shit out of me right now. Um, what's this? Range and shot speed. Again, I don't really care about that, I'll be honest. Right. Pop my two of diamonds. Pop my stars card. Yeah, why not? I'm really hoping these guys die soon. I really, really do not want these guys charmed around me all the time. They're very annoying. Oh, what the hell was that? That was awesome. I love the multicoloredness of our... Um, of our explosions now because of the, the uh, 3D glasses. It's very nice. And we get champion belt here. And we get flight. I was saying I wanted flight earlier for something. I can't remember what. Genuinely cannot remember what it was that I wanted flight for now. But I definitely wanted flight for something. Oh, it was for care shrooms, wasn't it? it means they're free to get in, into and out of now. going on with this guy then also why can't i pick up these pennies <laughs> now i don't know what this color champion is meant to do but i don't think it's meant to be immune to explosions is it but, but it is <laughs> right let's leave that room for now I just killed a, uh, a same color champion then. I don't know what's going on with that one. Do you want to take some heart containers from me? Oh. I killed him. <laughs> Pretty obviously that was going to kill him there, wasn't it? Got a lot of nice stuff there. Gimme gimme. Our fire rate is very wild right now. I love it. Hey, spider bite to go along with all this. Yes, sir. Right, zoom away. This room is just impossible to clear, so just get out of here.
I keep hitting myself, but honestly, it's not mattered in a while. This run is going well. Oh, we got the champion Gish. Well, we had the champion Gish. He's gone now. Um, activates a random positive effect when using a card. Why not? Oopsie. Keep accidentally leaving. Do we have the smelter boy on this floor? I can't remember. We do not. Other fossils crushed effect activate twice. Eh. No, that's super interesting to me. I'm, I'm good to leave stuff every now and again. I don't need to take advantage of every every little thing. I think pretty much from now on we're like good. We don't really need to worry about um, smelting stuff anymore. Like we we can try, but we don't really need to worry about it all that much. I think we're at a point now where this run is pretty said and done. Beautiful. And then here we got tears up, damage, chance to fire a top that makes enemies magnetic. I like the idea behind that. Right. Let's quickly go down here. Smelt that to me. Thank you. We grab this again. And we skedaddle skadoodle. Didn't really mean to leave before I should have been there, but oh well. That's a lot of money. LSD. Oh god. Had to get LSD again, didn't we? Okay, actually cleared the room this time. So easy to not actually clear the room. I need to remember that any room that looks even remotely difficult, we just press space in. Is that car battery? That is wild. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of invincibility we can get off of this thing. Pinball? Now, I don't exactly know how that's going to work with this. I have a feeling poorly. I don't know. I can't really tell until LSD goes away. Doesn't seem like a great idea. LSD lasts way too long. I think it lasts like a minute. I told you that was going to hurt me eventually. Nice. That's super useful to have. Dude, what the hell even... Yeah, pinball was definitely a bad choice. Goddamn LSD, please stop. It's been going on forever. Seems to be gone now. Yeah, I'm going to get hit a bunch by that, because it seems to just, like... Yeah, it just zooms Ipecac shots around the room like crazy. That was a bad choice to pick up. You know I had to do it. And needles. Ghost baby there as well, nice. I like the ghost baby. But you, you got to remember we have invincibility on our side, so... And a lot of it, too. The Immortal Heart certainly gives me a little bit more faith as well. We're not going to make Hush or anything, though, unfortunately. Burn heart there, fill that up. Beautiful. Uh, this room apparently never was finished. I would have considered it finished, but oh well. Right. 
Last stop. Oh my god. I do love it. It is, it is brilliant. It's just scary. I don't get where all these random things are coming from. Like, do, do black sacks spawn off a sack head now? I'm actually getting look. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Just absolutely dousing the room in explosives. Um, we don't, we'll just go Polaroid. Why not? Okay, I think we'll just keep everything we've got now. And I'm pretty sure now, in terms of actual um, smelting, we're set for the run. We can probably bomb our way through difficult runes as well if we need to. I mean, we probably don't need to. Like, saying need to is probably a little stupid. Considering the circumstances of this run. Hold the balls of steel, why not? Sometimes female enemies. Interesting. Not like I said, not super useful for us right now, but I can fire like one or two shots and then just be over with. The teal enemies are tricking me out again. I'd love to just see how long I can stay invincible for in one room. I bet it's an insane amount of time. If I get all three procs from um from car uh, not car battery from electric dice and then obviously car battery on top of that, that means my active item, my invincibility, will last four times longer than it's intended to. If they stack that is, which I'm imagining they do. Uh, the next active you pick up will be assigned to your pocket active slot. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what I can do with that information. I was hoping I could just make um, Book of Shadows, but I don't think I can. This is a room that I just want to get out of. Yeah, that is precisely why. My god. Oh my lord, he jumped right on top of me. Oh no, my ghost, he finally died. It's okay. Everything in here is pretty much dead now. One second. Oh lord. Things are going crazy. It's a long recording. Damn. It's basically to be about 40 minutes and it's, it just keeps going. Yeah, I'm not really worried in boss rooms. If, I, if I've got my active item ready, boss rooms are not a threat, like, at all. That was not a good pickup. Actually, eh, wasn't too bad. Right. Keep going. I'm not even bothering looking at the rocks anymore. We've we've, we've got to a point where we are, uh... We are the, the destructor. The destructor of all that is. So much money that I don't need. Hey, do this a shadow? Just as a backup plan. Very, very unlikely I'll need it. But nice to have nonetheless. This immortal heart isn't gonna last long, is it? Like I said, I really should just be using my active whenever it's ready. I don't know why I'm not. Luna's such such a good item to get with um to, to get with this character. You get so many more trinkets. 
I've so many more opportunities to find trinkets at least, should I say. Okay. You're all dead. We ain't doing hush because we are quite far behind. This run has been quite something. Fire tears that cause bleed. Eh. Again, we don't really need it. I like the speed bonus that we've got going on right now. Let's just kind of breeze through this end game. This is why you play it slow and methodical when you need it, and then you speed it up and start really going for it once, you, once you've got the opportunity to. Now, that's an interesting concept. A bishop that protects the enemy that protects the other enemies. Seems that they're still killable, but that is a weird, weird thing right there. This is where I think I want to just be using my active whenever I can. This floor. And onwards. Right. Good. Just in case. We've got to make sure I have it ready for the boss. It's always... Fear of, uh, fear of not having it for the boss, that's it. Swallow geode there. I think like that's quite dangerous for me. Got a few of those, um, burning champions there as well, by the looks of it. Still getting soul hearts from Luna as well, which is super nice. The fire rate bonuses, I have to admit, don't really matter all too much. Don't need either of those. Yeah, people ask like, oh my god, how come you just leave all this stuff? But it's like, have you seen this run? Do you really think I need that to succeed? Like, I enjoy playing the game and like min-maxing and stuff, but whilst my run is already quite long, I'm not going to min-max to get stuff that's not going to give me any discernible advantage. Although, I will say, I do like min-maxing and getting extra stuff to make the build wackier. So, smelting some extra trinkets could potentially do that, but none of them that I've seen so far have been, like, transformative. That's the sort of stuff I'd be looking for. I'm very, very glad that I used the active item in this room. I mean, big rooms are literally free anyways, because it charges in two rooms, so it's an instant charge. Fill that up again real quick. I was just about to say, here's the boss, but maybe not. Oh my god, so many spiders. The damage we're putting out right now, it's crazy. And the boss should perish very, very quickly here. Very, very quickly indeed. I can't remember how long um, Book of Shadows actually normally lasts for. It's 30 seconds, isn't it? Right. And we've got 18 keys, so we can more than easily enough open our cases, our chests. And I think I'm just going to go straight for Mega Certain. Infestation 2 is pretty interesting. Right. Yeah. Boss time. Flies are still hovering around my wisps for some reason. If anyone knows why, you could let me know. That'd be great. My wisps seem to be hovering around little gish also. Doubly confusing. Everything about this is very confusing. I didn't get an active charge going, which I probably should have done prior to this, but I don't think it's going to matter. Also, can we just say how, like, stable the frame rate is today? This is, like, a really wacky run. The frame rate really isn't suffering all too bad. Very nice. Yeah, definitely should have got an active charge prior to this. But we've got a revive. We've got a lot of damage. We should be fine. I mean, it's going down really, really, really quick anyways, as you can see. I'm just a little worried about the pinballing effect killing me. 
But I think with it being such a large room, it's less likely to happen. Or it's less likely to hit me, should I say. Definitely gonna happen. But I think the chances of it hitting me directly are a little, little more rare when there's quite, quite as much room as this. Let's forget he can spawn you. Ghost coming in, ghost in, George, you know what I meant. I love the way these look now with the change. Looks so good. I do have quite a lot of bombs that I can use on top of this as well if I wanted to. And obviously bombs do go through boss DPS cap. Look at that, that's so cool. How can you deny how awesome that is? I don't think anyone is denying it, I'll be honest, but... I'm a little worried that I can't see... What, what the hell's hitting me right now? I'm a little worried... I, oh, I think I'm placing bombs and hitting them away from me and the explosions are hitting the bomb and the bomb is dealing damage to me. That's pretty stupid. I probably hit myself like four times there. I'm a little scared that I can't see my HP, but like I said, I do have a revive backing me up. As long as things don't go really wrong, I think I'll be fine. I, I can't believe how stable our frame rate has been. It's not perfect, mind you, but it's pretty damn good. Yeah, don't use any more bombs. That was silly. I, I didn't even think about the fact that hitting, shooting the bomb to fire away from me was dealing damage to me. Which, now that I think about it, does make an awful lot of sense. Attacks like this are just... They befuddle me. I don't know what's going on. Dead bird, could you get in there and slow him down for me? Perhaps. Use my iframes to get dead bird on him. Dude, dead bird. Why are you being so useless? I'm not the target here. There's a there's a small chance that I don't make it through this. We are not killing the second phase anywhere near as quickly as I thought we would be. Um, and I do not know what health I'm on, but I can't imagine it's great. What I might do is um, plant a bomb, sit back, do a bit of that. Try and utilize some bombs here and there. It's not really working, I'll be honest. Fire him in the like way wrong direction. I think I should just focus on dodging really. Fall down the fire, keep on dodging. It depends what attacks he does. That one's fine. It's just there's a few others of his that can be really, really nu like a nuisance. This one's not too bad depending. He can get you caught in some tricky situations like this. Oh my god. But you can't actually shoot him properly, but I think we got him now. Looks like it to me. There you go, we got him. Not too bad. I'd love to see what health we actually ended this on, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a really fun run, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.